what is going on everybody it is 2 30 in the morning and myself and my husband were on our way to the airport to get ready to go to jamaica Alright guys, so 
we've made it through TSA. However, oh my goodness, um, we almost didn't make it, and I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, we got here about around the time we needed to get here, however, um, due to COVID and stuff like that, low personnel and all that jazz or whatnot, but we had to check in our bag. We had to show them the authority thing going into Jamaica, our COVID test. And then what, what ended up happening was um, at the very last minute, the guy was like, hey, they're about to open up another security gate that's closest to your gate. So once we made it all the way back down to the other side, there was security, I guess, C communications was crossed and they didn't communicate that properly. But um, after walking from the opposite end of the airport to the other TSA to go, to go through security, the security guy was like, oh, well, you gotta go all the way back up there. And I was like, well, why did the guy tell us that da 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 da? And so, anyway, long story short, right when we was about to try to make a haul all the way back from the opposite direction that we just came from. Um, Noble, party of two if you're in Algeria. Noble, party of two. The TSA, TS, um, TSA agent was coming out of the gate that we were gonna go through. And I asked him, I was like, are y'all about to open Again, up? Again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for the following passengers to recheck with your passport. This is just a passport reads wife. Passenger Benaby, Boucher, Forsyth, Myers, Nudwig, Nadukwe, pardon me, I'm sorry. Tyler and Way, Brittany Way, I think they're done making announcements now but anyway so right when i was about to throw up my hands and be like you got to be fucking kidding me because they're literally about to board for our flight and there was no way in hell we was about to make it through that tsa line on the opposite end so they opened up this one she was like yes ma'am we're about to open up this way here and we were the first ones in this line thank god because we made it here on time Baby, and comments, concerns, whereabouts. <laughs> He's silly, but anyway, so I also got a, another scandalous story to tell y'all what happened while we was in the line. Actually, no, you know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna let my husband tell that story. So, baby, tell tell the people what happened. This guy had rolled up on me. I said, "What?" You wanted to cut in the line. Why? Because his flight was leaving in 11 Noble, minutes. Noble party of two, looking for free board. Noble party of two. And like, dude, you already missed your plane, but uh, uh, that, this is a no for me, dog. And then, so there was another lady. And she, I guess, was trying to say something to me because I kind of slightly had my my mask down like this a little bit, so I could breathe a little, just a little bit. But everybody in the airport is doing it. But I guess because she felt offended that we didn't let him cut in front of us because hell, we got we got a flight to board too that we were damn near about to fucking miss. And I guess we were the first ones that told the motherfucker no. And he was like, you know, uh, my thing leaves in 11 minutes. And literally on our tickets, it says you have to be on your gate. You have to be um, there like literally 15 minutes before whatever. And he said his, his flight is about to be in 11 minutes. I'm like, even if he would have skipped ahead of us and went through that long ass line of TSA, he still missed his flight. But chick was like you um looked at me and she was like you're not following the guidelines and I was like so I just kind of looked at her I was like I ain't say anything I was just like you know what we about to go to Jamaica no nobody needs to die here today so I just looked at her crazy 
and I just turned turned off and they just ignored her. Now I look Hi, at my. Please see us here for pre-boarding. Passengers Noble, please see us here for pre-boarding. So anyway, I looked at my husband. I was just like, see, baby, you know, I was good. I didn't cuss nobody out, even though I wanted to, but I didn't. But anyway, you guys, this is the drama of us almost missing our flight to Jamaica because of motherfucking TSA foolishness and because of staff shortages and COVID and all this extra dibbly doob dads that they got us jumping through hoops and shit but I will see you guys uh hmm probably when we're boarding the plane passenger Lindstrom please recheck
what's behind me. Just have to get up and walk around a bit. So. Where my husband? Where my bald head man at? They was checking his bag. For what? Uh, he, his name was like, I got a ticket. <laughs> She's saying I can leave this at the door. For what? That's like that's our carry-on. Right. It's saying it's it's too big because it's bulging in the front. It's only because I, I added that shot glass. Yeah. It can fit, all right? It's the same uh plane that we're getting on, right? I mean, yeah, but then it rem well remember when we had to put it on this side, so yeah, just check it. Yeah, so she put the tag on there so the dude can do the thing with it. 